So now let's see how we can work around with bullet and numbered list inside of WordPad. So to work around with bullet and numbered list, what we need to do is we need to have some text. So I'm just going to type in something like one and then two and then three, just like this, and maybe a four. So in order to turn this into a bullet list, what I need to do is I can select this all. And then over here on the top, you see this little icon, which you can click to make it into a list. I'm just going to go around and undo this out right here. Let's say, for example, I just want to keep these three items in the list or these two items in the list. I can select out the um, words that I want to keep in the list or sentences, and then I can click on the bullet list. And that is what happens. Only that part is added in the bullet list. You can also expand this out and choose other type of bullet list. Let's say, for example, I'm going to turn all of these into a bullet list. And now this is a numbered list, as you can see once I select this. I can change this into ABC. I can change this into capital ABC and other uh, Roman letters, just like this, according to what I like. If I were to press enter, another uh, relevant um, number just appears. So you can see that there's six, there's seven, there's eight and so forth. If you were to remove something, then it just removes that out. If I were to go over here and then let's say, for example, indent this, then what happens is that it indents out that bullet point, as you can see. So there, what I can do is I can just go around and then change the type of the bullet if I want to as well. So now you can see that there's bullet list right there and that's it. So I can go around, change the bullet list, indent in according to the way I want. And that is how you can work around with this. That is how you can work around with the bullet and numbered list inside of WordPad. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.